the Wednesday edition of the JM Sports Show is on the air. Hello everybody, Jonathan Bozan here for JM Sports 100 and JM Sports Show. And on today's show we got some interesting stuff going on. We got some college football, a little bit of NFL, uh, NFL preview, a couple of college football games to pick, and some interesting stuff in baseball. Those pesky Oakland Athletics will not go away. Orioles and Yankees, what happened there? Cardinals and Nationals, what happened there? Reds and Giants, what happened there? Did the Giants get eliminated? We'll find out. We will talk about all that, but like I said, we have college football picks to make, and that is where we will start our action here tonight. We have three picks to make for tomorrow. Um, two televised games, one non-televised game. We'll start with Western Kentucky as they take on Troy in a uh, Sun Belt matchup there. I am going to somewhat reluctantly go with the uh, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers in that contest there. UTEP takes on Tulsa. I am going to go with uh, Tulsa in that game. And Arizona State takes uh, but that's a conference USA matchup, 5-1 Tulsa, 1-5 UTEP. Give me the uh, Tulsa Golden Hurricane uh, in that game there. And Arizona State taking on Colorado and ESPN and watch ESPN at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to go with Arizona State. Quite frankly, I think Arizona State big in that game. Uh, even I will go uh, as far as to say that. So we look for a 3-0 start uh, tomorrow. Let's take a quick look at our college football record for the year before we do anything else, and that does uh, look like this for the uh, season, I was going to say early season, but we are already in week 7, therefore it is not the, uh, it is not the early season. Last week we pulled off a record of 35 and 20, which gives us a record on the year of 298 wins, 91 losses, 1,429 losses, or wins, 506 losses, is our lifetime record over the last couple of years. Alright, let's take a quick look at our NFL record as well, uh, going 11-3 and three last week in the uh, straight-up picks, uh, 6 and... I believe we did um, in the uh, spread. We are 51 and 27 on the year straight up, 350 and 206 straight up lifetime, 25 and 33 on the year and lifetime for spread picks. Pittsburgh Steelers and Tennessee Titans game on NFL Network tomorrow. By the way, this is something new that I'm actually going to be starting. Uh, this week, um, and that is, I will be giving you, uh, usually officials, and I'm going to try to give you announcing crews, too, so you know who is, uh, broadcasting the game. I do not have the NFL, uh, network announcer in front of me, however, I do know that Ed Hockley will be the, uh, head official for the Titans and Steelers, uh, tomorrow. Here's what the spread looks like for that game. Um... As this is not working like it should, so let's, uh... Do this again. Here we go. Alright. Uh, Tennessee Titans plus five and a half. So the Steelers would have to win by six. So with them, Tennessee would have to lose by less than five. Uh, Troy Palomalu is out for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Do I think it's going to matter? Uh, honestly... Uh, maybe a little, but not very much. Um, you know, the Titans come in with a 1-4 record. Steelers are only 2-2. Two and two. Um, The only somewhat uh, viable team that they've beaten this year for Pittsburgh uh, is Philadelphia last week. But Tennessee's not good. Um, I've gotten, uh, out of the four games, I've gotten two really good looks in Tennessee. I've gotten, I got a good look uh, at them. Actually, I've gotten, uh, three good looks at the Titans. Uh, I got a fairly good look at them against the Chargers where they got completely massacred. Uh, I got a good look at them 
against the Lions. Of course, they won in a shootout. I got a good look at them last week against White. In fact, I got a full look at them last week against White. But they once again got annihilated. They're just not good all over the board. Offensively, defensively, uh, you know, Jake Locker has a separated shoulder. He will not play. Uh, Matt Hasselbeck is getting up there at eight. I'm not saying he's lost it. The problem is he doesn't have a whole lot of talent around him. Outside of Chris Johnson, who didn't really impress me all that much last week, outside of Chris Johnson, the, ten, ten, uh, the Titans don't have a lot. Uh, they have Kenny Britt when Kenny Britt decides to show up and play well. But other than that, the Titans just do not have a whole lot offensively or defensively. Pittsburgh Steelers, I've said that they're old, but they're definitely better. I think, ten, I think Pittsburgh gets the win. I'm taking Pittsburgh for the spread. I think Pittsburgh rolls in the contest. All right, so there is um, my NFL pick, my NFL preview, sort of. Uh, wasn't much of one, but it will be good enough to get the job done. So, um, we will have to see what happens there. Let's look really quickly now at baseball and how that looks. And we had some interesting stuff happen uh, in today's game. St. Louis beats Washington 8 to nothing, so blanking them there. Good pitching matchup by Chris Carpenter. As I said, Carpenter would pitch well. San Francisco and Cincinnati. San Francisco needed to get the win uh, to stay alive and force a game four to tie the series at two. They did just that. Uh, Tim Linscombe took the win. Mike Leake took the loss as San Francisco pounds Cincinnati eight to three to stay alive. New York Yankees, Baltimore Orioles. This was a game that was really dominated by the Orioles in the early part of it. Raul Banias, uh, some home run heroics of him. Uh, give the uh, give the Yankees a 3-2 win. Yankees lead 2-1. Uh, Oakland scoring uh, three runs in the bottom of the ninth inning. Going down, or we're down 3-1 going in the ninth inning. Three runs, bottom of the ninth inning. 4-3 win for Oakland to force a game for there and fight off elimination. So let's take a look at our action for tomorrow. San Francisco and Cincinnati Game 4 series will be decided. Matt Cain, Matt Latos in that game there, 107 p.m. Eastern Time on TBS. Uh, basically, pretty much everything that I said that was going to happen on Wednesday happened. Uh, St. Louis did beat Washington, so I, so I said I felt like they would. I said I felt like San Francisco would force a Game 4. I said I felt like the Yankees would beat the Overs. They almost didn't, but I said I felt like they did, and they did. The only thing that went wrong was I said Detroit would wrap the series against Oakland, but they uh, did not. Uh, but I do think they do it tomorrow, and I'll explain why uh, when we get there. San Francisco and uh, Matt Latos, Matt Keane, Matt Latos, San Francisco, Cincinnati. I think the Giants come back. I think the Giants come back to meet the Reds. Giants have the momentum. Uh, I think uh, I am, uh, you know, not definitely not against Matt Latos. He's pitched really well all year, but I dread the Giants winning the game in Cincy. St. Louis and Washington, Kyle Loesch and Ross Detweiler. Um, I've been huge on Washington. I want Washington to do good in this series. I like Washington to win this series, but quite frankly, uh, St. Louis is up 2-1. I don't think they do. I think Loesch is just pitching too well. Um, you know, this is something that you didn't want to see. If you were St. Louis, and, and I'm sorry, if you were watching, you're going to see it. Um, 4 7 p.m. Eastern Time on TBS, quite frankly. I think it's it's over for the Nats. I think St. Louis moves on. Baltimore and the New York Yankees, 7.37 on TBS. I said uh, that uh, Roki Cora needed a good pitching performance. He did not have a great pitching performance tonight. Um, I think if you are Baltimore... I've got Baltimore in this game. You know, if the Yankees win, Yankees win the series. But Baltimore is going with Joe Saunders. Uh, Yankees are going to huge, quite frankly. I think at this point, um, Saunders is going to pitch better than Hughes. Uh, Detroit and Oakland, TNT, 9-37. Eastern time. And I think Detroit wins the series in the game, and I'll tell you why. Uh... Jared, uh, Jared Parker goes to the Oakland A's, and that's cool. But going for the Tigers, the second time in this series is Justin Verlander. If you're the A's, you're not getting by Verlander. 
Verlander destroyed you in the first game of the series. I think he destroys you again. I don't think anybody's getting by Verlander. Quite frankly, I think the National League is crapshoot right now. I think it is. I think the American League comes down to... I would love for the O's to be the Yankees, but I don't think they do. I think the American League comes down to the Tigers, Yankees, Yankees getting a win. Uh, National League, I'm going to say, comes down to the Giants and Cardinals. I'm going to say Cardinals get the win there. Um, I'm going to say it's going to end up being uh, Tigers, Cardinals, World Series. And I've got the Tigers. I've got the Tigers winning the whole thing. So we'll see uh, how that goes there. Those are kind of my thoughts on tonight's playoff action. I've made my college football picks. I've made my NFL picks. I feel like the show has flown by, kind of because it has. Uh, it's not that long of a show, but to be honest right now, not really a ton to talk about. We will find more, I'm sure, as time goes on. But uh, until then, I am John with Epic Dance Sports 100 and DanceForce.org. Um, well, actually, well, kinda. You can go to DanceForce.org, but you're not going to find anything. Uh, that is going to do it for uh, the JM Sports Show here tonight. I am John and Melissa. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, a little bit of uh, Titan Steelers talk, uh, some more college football picks, and we will tell you who was able to move on to the American League Division, the ALBS in the AL, I'm sorry, the uh, ALCS in the NLCS, respectively. We'll talk about all that. We'll talk a little bit of football and whatever else may come up tomorrow in sports. That is going to be what I am John and Melissa for the for JM Sports 100 here on YouTube, and this has been the JM Sports Show. I'll see you tomorrow.